Okay, we were in Chinkakad and we want to make this, in this case, a bit not so long. It is, well, let me line it up. I have this, have I set that? No, I like to set mine to 0.1 down there. Gives me more control. Let me put that on that line. We can possibly use a ruler to help us here sometimes. But that is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 70, 75 we'll call that, okay, now first of all, say we want to make it about 50, let me save that before I do anything, then the first thing I'd do is do a duplicate, which does an exact sort of copy as it is there, so we're not going to damage the, the original, then I generally try to bring in a box, something like this, now you can bring in a hole of various shapes. This won't work for all models because someone might have certain things on. But now we can convert that into a hole by pressing the hole up there. Shift to highlight. <laughs> Sorry, shift to highlight them, um, group them. And now see we've got this half. So good. And I'm going to download for 3D printing. I'm going to call this part one STL. Yes, I have done this earlier, but let's experiment a bit. Close that. And I'm going to create another duplicate of this, like the original one here. This is the full size one. Here it is here. See, that's a, that's another copy of that one there. So think of that. And do the same, but only on the other side. I'm going to go quite far. Change it into hole, make sure it's covering it all. So highlight each one with a shift or whatever. And I yeah, hope download SDL. And obviously we're going to call this part two. Okay, so now we've got the two parts. Let's close this. Going to do a new design. Going to browse part one, import, browse part two, open import. Oops, wrong, going the wrong direction. Let me scroll in a bit so now we've got the two parts and we can basically adjust this so that will be well yeah that's almost on that line there let's call that on that line i can't be bothered 10 20 30 so that's about 48 millimeters and we can obviously like line spend a bit of time lining this up We do the three one actually when the off there. That even gives me finer control. There we are, that's near enough. A little bit out maybe. But obviously then we can do that. Do those two. And I'm going to download. I'm going to call this uh, shorter. Okay, save that. Let's go out of that. Let's load in model. Shorter. And there's our model.
and we can see how many squares. These are two millimeter squares. You can see line there because I didn't bother really lining it up perfectly, but that's okay. So that's how to sort of make a piece narrower or shorter. Just chop it up, make it as an S each one as an STL, and you can do that. You know, slice them up different ways and make them less high or whatever you want. To. 